easy. Get to communicate over it. You know? You found binoculars? Great. They will come in handy for sure. Here's a reward. Not too much, but I can also show you a glass eye trick. Oh, not interested? Whatever.
You got a bomb for me? I've got the prototype. It's on the table, ready to be tested. There's a barricaded tunnel nearby. It's chock full of volatiles during the day, but at night it should be pretty clear. You won't find a better place to test a bomb. Okay, I'll try the tunnel and let you know how it went. One more thing. Remember about the firecrackers. The bomb will go off as soon as they're done popping. That's how much time you have to get the hell away. Good luck. Good, it's not working. Not working? Huh. That's unexpected. All right, a little on-the-fly surgery should do the trick. First, open the casing by making an incision just below the negative terminal post. Peel back the casing along the incision line to reveal the trigger wiring harness. Now, check the solder on two green wires and the three red ones. I'm betting it's the green wire. I was drinking when I did them, which I now realize was perhaps irresponsible of me. Oh, that did it. It blew up the nest and the barricade. All right, the tunnel's now passable. Hey, I told you, my friend, if I build it, it's going to explode. Come see me, and I'll give you the blueprint. Let me back away. Double concern.
This is for you. I've also modified the case a bit. Cans instead of batteries. Smaller bang, but cans are easier to find and to carry. All right. Thanks, Kurt. Finally. I was getting worried you weren't coming. You keep pumping red smoke in the air, you're gonna have all kinds of visitors. Red's all I had left. Anyway, you're here, so it did the job. Give this envelope to Aziz at the bazaar. Tell him it's from Ryan. Red phosphorus, lye, iodine, muriatic acid, diethyl ether, phenyl nitrate. Geez, not exactly grandma's recipe for Christmas cookies. Lena, this is Crane. Are you there? It's a man. Lena's tied up. Can I help you? Someone just gave me a grocery list with red phosphorus, lye, iodine, muriatic acid, diethyl ether, and phenyl nitrate. Ah, uh, then someone just gave you a recipe for cooking slam. Rice crews have been using it to stay up for days at a time. Volatiles are more reasonable than someone tanked up on that stuff. Now maybe I should put this guy out of business. Actually, we're pretty desperate for phenyl nitrate. It's a lab grape disinfectant, and we're completely out of it. What, you want me to pick up his shopping list? Definitely. Then find me at the tower. I've got an idea that should throw a monkey wrench into the operation.
So, it's you again. Look, you can tell Rice that he can bite me. Hey, what's that? Have you brought the herbs? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. No more food scavenging from now on. Well, I still can't figure you out. But, here's your prize. I think you deserved it. Are you? What do you want? I'm Crane. Well, what are you doing in here? What am I doing? What <laughs> am I doing? My name's Tobias, and I'm designing weapons. Zombie killing weapons. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. I guess I'll just uh, just leave you to it then. No, no. Wait. Wait. Don't go. Don't go. Listen. I've almost finished an ultra weapon of monster destruction. All it needs is some fine tuning, and you can help with that. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, now how am I supposed to get any useful data if you can't manage to kill enough zombies? Well, here goes nothing. I gotta admit, this thing is pretty sweet. Not sure about the battery life, though. I can fix it. Yeah, I can totally fix it, I think. Yeah, yeah. All I have to do is run some more tests. With your help, of course. Wondering how I know? 
That motherfucker kept me locked in a cage for three weeks. I saw plenty. Sometimes it was like he was experimenting. See what would do the job best, you know? Machete, axe, shotgun, hell. He took this one guy's leg off at the knee and had to hear time how long it took the poor bastard to breathe out. It's a valid strategy. You kill an enemy? Well, that is one time. But you hurt an enemy. Then you've got the wounded guy out of the fight. Plus, it'll take at least two more people to take care of him. Three for the price of one. There's value in sadism, I guess. Given the right circumstances. Wow, but you're looking fun at parties. smell it already. This is really going to raise our quality of life. Not as much as killing all the zombies would, but it's a start. 